Hey everyone, D-Dub Squizzy here, and welcome back to Stargate the Pegasus Chronicles. Um, okay, let me unpause real quick. So, red, red, everywhere red. We have Apophis now. Okay. Formidable survivalist, <laughs> that's fair. Unerring ability to profit from nearly any situation. Wears golden combat armor, activated and degraded tactical helmet, um, you can use his personal shield, has a hand device. Does he have a ship? I'll have to send him in with the fleet, and we'll see. Go with the fleet for now. Right, we just got our newest upgrades. I forgot about that. So we need to take some time to properly... Okay, um... A data we procured from the captured Tari vessel mentioned the symbiote poison. Ah, at the base and Ravana. Poison's a dangerous weapon, and school and Jafal alike infiltrate the base. With the help of Irish Bach, take control of the poison. I don't know why we need that guy. He wasn't there when they actually did it, but whatever. What is that? A large shipyard. I can't build that here, so we gotta build it there. That seems important. Uh, mining camps. Those are awesome. Yeah, I'm not building... I would like to build that here as well, but I need mining camps. As many as I can possibly get. Because we're poor as dirt. Okay, and then once we have this built, we'll see what kind of difference it makes. Oh, those are a hundred a pop. Ah, we can build Anubis Atox. That's awesome, because those things are epic. 1500 Ah, oh, that's a pretty reduced price. I, wonder, I don't know how much they cost normally. We're definitely going to need some heavier defenses. Yep, yeah, at least a level 3 station, I'm going to say, at this place. If this is where our shipyards are being, and that's an in-space kind of deal, we're going to want that properly protected. So I'm going to take some time. We're going to build that. Oh yeah, these guys can leave now. Forgot about my huge army of Jaffa. Which probably isn't that big. Okay, let's build our first one of these. I'm going to get like three or four of them. And I'm just not even going to bother with new Hitox because the Nubis Hitox are better. And that'll be it. Once we build three or four of those, we're good as far as space, uh, or as far as our fleet goes for now. We can build up to fourth level right now. So that's good to know. I don't think it's strictly necessary. Um, it certainly wasn't playing as Earth. We were fine. I'm going to put him in charge, so I don't forget to do that later. Is he going to turn on us, though? Because he turned on... He worked for Sokar, not Anubis. That should be good. There's five now, but that'll be good. He worked for Sokar, not Anubis, the one time that they did meet him. So it's kind of weird that he's working for us, even though we are enemies of Sokar. Like, we're going to eventually fight that dude. Yeah, now we can hit this place. I don't know. I guess they're, they're trying to make it kind of special. Um, get over here. Can I build those up here? I can. Okay, so I don't have to build them at Takara. Sweet. Let's pull our fleet back. I'm actually going to go do all of this up at Mastarva. Alright. So I don't need to build anything in space, right? I could build out cash, but... I'm not going to at the moment. I'll build a couple of these, a couple of those, and that. Right, I want the temple. Let's get the temple first. I want to know what it does. See what new stuff it affords us. Uh, probably Ashrox. A Jaffa Master. Okay, so it just gives a bonus. A nearby 30%. Oh, the fire rate by 30%. That's pretty huge. Some deployable cannons. I'm probably not going to bring those. Um, okay, I'm going to get those five right here. Yeah, I'm going to wait on those. And, uh, well... Let's go down to the car, because it's cheap here. Build five of those. Go up here. Yeah, the price is so close, I might as well just build Serpent Guards instead of regulars from now on. Let's do that. And 
I'll probably need 10 more Serpent Guards, so I'm going to come over here and put that on order as well. 10 more. 5 more. Who else has a... Uh, it is Takara. has a, a vehicle workshop. Yeah, they call it a factory. Whatever. Not what I meant to do. I'm going to send Anubis down here again. Wait. What's my Starba looking like? Okay, I'm going to wait for these things to finish. I'm going to order five more of them. And I'm going to send him down there. And I'm going to build two more Anubis attacks just to help defend that place. In case we get attacked there. That's, that's one of our most vital locations, so we have to make sure it survives. Okay, and then come on down to Dakara. You can order a couple tanks. Yeah, I'll just grab like four of the... Well, oh wow, those guys... Horus cards take forever. Three will do. That'll work. I know Bastet guards are a thing. But I don't know if we'll ever actually have any. Oh, I hit the population limit. Ooh, that's rough. Do star bases increase that? Or space stations? I don't think they do. Here, we'll build one as defense, and then we'll upgrade this again anyway. We can use the extra extra security. Let's see what happens. This will probably put us all the way up. Uh, that didn't even change our... Oh, I see. This goes up when you start producing. So we have a full army, is basically what the game is telling me. And we're still not getting attacked by anyone, which means this is still our opportunity to, to garrison ourselves if we want to. Actually, don't take that. Take the light staff weapon one. That does increase it by a little bit. Yeah, we'll, we're just going to turn Erebus into the biggest fortress that exists. Now nah, let's just go all five. They, they will act as a garrison here. So, yeah, Erebus is solid. That place is going nowhere. Cool. Um, go ahead. Yeah, park there. Let's get this. build a whole one more guy somewhere. Oh, I can build a shipyard here. That might make life a little easier. Although I think they're still going to be cheaper here, I just don't know by how much. Does it tell us? 20%? Ah, that's pretty significant. Combine that with his 25%, that's a 45% drop. In price, yeah, we're gonna just gonna do all of our big ship production down there. Dakar is a pretty important place, so I'll go ahead and reinforce it. I don't really have to reinforce the space around my home world. I'll put another I need I do need to reinforce Tartarus actually. I might as well do it at Tigria, but no, I'm not gonna do it at Tigria, because we're about to push ahead and Tigria will no longer be a front. But Tartarus might be for some time. So I am going to reinforce this place. Yeah, now we're still waiting on a coal facility. Okay, this is all of them? Oh yeah. A big, big army. I trust you. Yeah, and you can just go to Keb. Inspire the men there. Cool. This should be a solid fleet. Sure. Let's see if Apophis actually does appear in the air. Because I don't know if he does or doesn't. Um, Ball's territory. Ball built a base with large pyramid. Right, that's the Tilgra agent. The one with the moron doctor. Who uh, brought down the entire gate system. In fact, that actually, the the first prime of the local ghoul who sure. figured out that the ghoul was in fact a Tok'ra became Anubis's 
first prime later. Of course. It is our way. Of course. Sure. Yeah, light up the bombers. One of the galaxy's That'll greatest do. He does have his own big guy. On my command. Very well. Very well. It is our way. I trust you. So what do you have here? Lock wings to provide increased speed and a cloak. Show me your reverence. Now that's a staff weapon burst. Fire on that thing. Yeah, that one's gonna run for it. We'll call in a little extra support. Shut down its engines. There you go. Okay. Yeah, let's go up here and destroy it. Yeah, do your worst. The Anubis attacks are not the most powerful things, but they were one of the biggest nightmares we had to deal with. And they deposit these gnarly gliders. I think enemies are more vulnerable as they drop out of space. So we should probably be a little more careful. Okay, so this is our Thor. We got Thor as Earth pretty early on. And he made us uh, basically undefeatable in space for the first whole big portion. That's kind of what Apophis is supposed to be. He could get taken out, but he carries a lot of weight. As long as you properly support him, he will not get taken out. So now we have our own alliance of the non-system lords. That's basically what we're looking at. Okay, let's land some guys. Looks like they don't have much here. Oh. I'm calling in one of these. And I am going to leave a spot open in case they have aircraft that we need to be aware of. Oh, I kind of remember this place. I had an annoying time finding, like, the enemy base or something like that. Cool. Let's get a move on. Get one out of that, two out of this. Yeah. So I could call in all ten if I really want to. I think the enemy Jaffa, that was either like a Nexed or something unit, or it was a deployable staff weapon, and I couldn't really tell which. Ah! That's Nexed, alright. Moves kind of weird. Might have been Hawk set, not Neck set. I'm never going to keep them straight. The shields are handy, though. They give it a way to, uh, to not just get immediately worn down in combat like the Malp machine guns did. No, I like having the Serpent Guards uh, more than I did the SG teams as Earth. Because they're kind of, they're supposed to be equivalents, I think. One of Earth, one of Anubis. The issue with the Earth ones is they can only be built on Earth. It's the only place they can produce SG teams, while Marines can be built anywhere. Likewise, Serpent Guards can be built anywhere that's got a barracks. So, why not just build them? Okay, yeah, it's not up here. 
You know, possible they don't have any buildings? I didn't actually look. I wasn't paying close attention. Oh, no, they do. Oh, hello. Oh, it's got guns on the back. Okay, that makes more sense. That's pretty cool too, the uh, Anubis attacks also can bombard from the air, which isn't really a surprise. It is good to know. That's weird. That's like the noise of wraith ships, I think. Is that noise ever used for the gold? It's a horrifying sound. Like when you hear that, you know, your skin crawls. Let's get a couple gliders in here. Have them spread out and look for whatever's left. Hello? We capture an abandoned factory, so that's interesting. What world is this? Three Gould combat probes and a regular probe. <laughs> that who cares? Is there anything else I can do to prove my loyalty? Good death. My lord. Is there anything yes, else my. I can do to prove my loyalty? It would have been easier had you my left lord. the lord weapon. Is there anything else I can do to prove my loyalty? Cool. All right, let's get Anubis in here. Might as well press our advantage while we have it. Nothing there. I know, it's probably stupid to leave the place right now, but... It's purple. Are the Tok'ra their own faction? Whoa. Who are these folks? Um, SG-13 visited during the mission. Team is attacked by a Google probe. Oh... Oh, no. We're about to literally play out from the Gould perspective. The, the episode Heroes, which for anyone that doesn't know, it's definitely an episode. I'll say that. And that's all I'll say. Episodes, I guess. It's two of them. One of the, the rare non-season ending two-parters. And it grips you. Where are the ruins? Because there was... Oh, here. This is where it took place. Well, not really. That, that's where it started. It really took place out here, probably. some Somewhere in the surrounding area. Not up here, I don't think, but it was around. Of course. Interestingly, this planet was also... Ah! Oh, they're out. <laughs> and somehow they lost them. Two teams. I not? Oh, wrong planet. Okay, we're not going to attack Ravana just yet. So, infiltrate the Tok'ra base with Botch. We're, we're going to attack the whole place with everything first, if we're allowed to. I don't know what we're allowed to do.
be good. Um, yeah, no, not overly important. I'm just gonna build those two. And then you chill for a second. We're going to Ravana. A captured Hatak? I, I can only assume we're fighting the Toker here. Maybe Jacob's here. But I doubt it, because heroes are usually at the top of the stack. They don't have a starbase. Or space station. Sir, I'm one of the galaxy's greatest hunters. It is our way. Of course. It is our way. Stinking Katano. I hate hearing his voice every time. Arak, Carmel. Very well. That is corrupt. Not at first, but eventually. Very well. I guess I could have just dropped off a bomb and taken out their their ships, but. And the, the Tok'ra wonder why they can't hold on to a ship. Yeah, for some reason, ever, I kept thinking that Hawktail was the name of those big flagships that, like, the one Apophis has. I don't know why, but that's the name that always comes to my mind. Okay, so... We need Bok. Okay. Don't know why, but we need him to do it. Talk of a powerful weapon, can kill hundreds of Defaw and Ghoul within seconds, seize the weapon, bring an end to the threat. Cowards notice our arrival, have pulled up in their tunnels, find the entrance, and secure. Alright. We should just have Zipakna here. He was the one who did it, and he was an actual subordinate of Anubis. I don't know why... Why they, they don't put him in, but whatever. I guess technically he didn't actually go in at all. He just was the ghoul in charge of the attack. He had a lot of Jaffa that went in. You want to know how I became here. It's right here. <laughs> Toker noticed our arrival. Get them before they can escape. With what? I trust you. Oh. You want to hit him? There. Okay, well, I'm just gonna go here. Are the rings gone? I I don't know what keeps showing up here. Let's let's go find out. What is this? What's going on here? If he dies, do we just lose him and the poison? There's nothing... I trust you. I don't know. Okay, okay, that's gonna drive me mad. What is here? What are we looking at? Is this an, an error? Is this a glitch? Oh. There are some rings. I trust you. Well, oh, he's frozen. I'm sure this will make things easier. I'm one of the galaxy's greatest hunters. I trust you. Who? I trust you. Sure. Eris Bok, I'm one of the galaxy's greatest hunters. I trust you. Greatest sure. bounty hunter in the galaxy. One of the galaxy's greatest hunters. Is it just going to be the last one, no matter what I do? Um, by analyzing the information, we're able to adjust our sensors. Look at the facility where the poison is. I trust you. Oh. oh. Just gonna leave that for a friend. I trust you. I could bombard the Toker base. I trust you. Sure. 
Yeah. I'm one of the galaxy's greatest hunters. Perhaps you heard of Can me. I leave? Eris Bar. I trust you. There. You wanna know how I became the greatest bounty hunter in the galaxy? <laughs> sure. I'm one of the galaxy's greatest hunters. I trust you. Sure. Well, if I had known what I was... Now we're gonna lose. Yep. Well, of course... Okay. They're introducing all these weird mechanics. I didn't know I could control the rings. Okay, this one you must succeed. Okay. That makes this less stressful, then. So I'm just gonna get in, beeline it for the poison. Since now I know what I'm looking for. Or for the crystal, which I, I think... Is, we'll see if it stays in one place. I trust you. Sure. I'm one of the galaxy's greatest hunters. I trust you. Oh, it moves. Sure. Okay, well, the Toker are going to find and attack him. There it is. Eris Bar, the galaxy's greatest hunters. There we go. I trust you. Okay. Sure. Your weapon will not penetrate one of the galaxy's greatest hunters. What? The Toker were able to escape, taking the poison with them. Okay, well, first of all, Bach would be fine. Botch. He, he doesn't have a symbiote. He can't have a symbiote. That's the reason he's a bounty hunter. And two, I didn't know those random dudes could have it, so I have to stun everyone? Man, this is annoying. <laughs> they didn't make that clear at all. Okay, well now I gotta check the usual spots again. This is weird. I trust you. Greatest bounty hunter in the galaxy. Sure. I'm one of the galaxy's greatest hunters. Just avoid them. Okay, I well they're on the other side. <laughs> Okay, so stun everyone and move slowly, I guess. I trust you. <laughs> Actually, we're just gonna beeline it for this thing. So I can make sure, see if I have to capture it first. I and make sure we do that. Your weapons will not be one of the galaxy's greatest hunters. I trust you. Sure. I'm one of the galaxy's greatest hunters. Do we really have to get that command? I trust you. Sure. I'm one of the galaxy's greatest hunters. Your weapons will not be one of the galaxy's greatest hunters. Do we really have to get that command? Sure. Okay, we're just, we're following. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness! I'm gonna lose my mind. Seriously, just this one dude who has so super limited health, can only fire one at a time, will auto-kill the one dude we're not supposed- I hate this. This is, a mo this is the worst. And we gotta wait through this dumb cutscene every time. And then the location of the rings changes to make it extra fun, I guess. This mission needs some refinement. So far, it's not enjoyable. Okay, 
I'm just going to head down here because maybe we can find the rings before the Toker come over and I don't have to fight them. Nope. There. I trust you. I trust you. Sure. I'm one of the galaxy's greatest hunters. Find the data crystal. I trust you. Okay. Sure. Stun the carrier. I'm one of the galaxy's greatest hunters. <laughs> I trust you. Your weapons will not penetrate the shield. Sure. Okay, we did it. It's over. We win. Man, that sucked. Why couldn't we just blow up the Teltox? Alright. Well, you secured the symbiote poison. My old ally, uh... Osiris joined us again. Negotiated truce with the system lords. Use this time to build us our forces. Attack as soon as you're ready. Make sure we're first to break the truce. So now we're on the timetable. Not that. Can I build anything new? Nothing there. Nothing here. Nothing there. Our forces are pretty built up, I gotta be honest. I could build them up a little more. Okay, I think Osiris gets her own Hatak, so I'm going to move you up here with the rest. Okay, well, where are we attacking first? Like... We could hit Pangar. We could hit Hocktail. Pangar, I think, is a more important target. So we're going to build up Ravana's defenses first. And then we're going to go hit Pangar. Who's on their way? Oh, Osiris. Yeah, so what's your deal? What do you do? Um, travels through space in a customized Keltec, a cargo ship several thousand years old. Um, she eventually did. Let's see. Refitted with state-of-the-art gold systems, special staff weapons, as Osiris' personal vessel, and command ship when accompanied on our missions by a fleet of warships. Okay, so I guess we have an extra fighter type unit. Uh, information, we're certain the Toker have a base on Forash, destroy it. Alright, yeah, I mean, eventually. <laughs> Once we get there, I guess more reason to hit Pangar first. Let's all get over to Tartarus. Oh, not Tartarus, Kara. So that we can prepare this attack. I don't know how Anubis fares in actual combat. Batana. Oh. Hey, we can attack it now. Sick. You. Take the space before they build a base. Bam. Oh, Talana's theirs too. Well, <laughs> I bet you there are ion cannons there that will absolutely blow us out of the sky the second we arrive. Okay, um, the planet Del Mach, homeworld of Sokar, is our next target. Former spies of Apophis have given us information on a new ship. It's far larger and more powerful than the Hatak. You'll conquer the planet, start construction. Uh, Sokar is currently not present because he's on a campaign against the Tok'ra. Del Mach's heavily guarded. Sokar will set up strong stationary defenses. Okay, I guess we're ignoring Pangar. I'm going to leave them there. Last thing I need is that fleet getting hit because I was not paying close enough attention. Well, let's go hit Delmok then. If we can get better ships out of it, it's certainly worth it. And it's going to be a major roadblock later anyway. I, uh, I've not been keeping good track of time, though. Oh, boy. Right, I, can't, I don't know what the heck anyone has, which I hate.
As Earth, I was able to see what the enemy had when I arrived. I'm not sure why I can't as Anubis, but whatever. You want to know how I became the greatest bounty hunter in the galaxy? Hey, there's an A2. No, right, shipyards. I forgot you. about that. Sure. I'm one of the galaxy's greatest. Okay, well, we should hit. Hmm. I trust you. Yeah, we're, we have to hit the enemy fleet first. I'm one of the galaxy's greatest hunters. I trust you. Sure. I'm one of the galaxy's greatest hunters. I don't think that shipyard will produce anything of too I much consequence. So we'll get it later. Sure. I'm one of the galaxy's greatest hunters. Okay. So we're bringing up office. Very well. Very well. Very well. It is our way. Of course. It is our way. That is correct. Do we have specific coordinates? I trust you. Sure. That'll do. Open fire. Hopefully, he only has the one of these. Take those engines out. Yeah, this one's getting shredded. It's not going anywhere. The others might. No. Now nah, we've lost control of that. Oh, we're not. They're stupid enough to come back. I am shocked. That'll do. Okay, well, that's a target. Okay, here we go. Everyone juice your main weapons. That's an enemy ship. I'm gonna lose that one. That's okay. Um, you guys target that turret. Go ahead and open fire on that. There we go. Yeah, I think that's all of their big turrets. But they do have some heavy weapons, but I don't think they have any more staff weapon turrets. Which are the really big bad ones. Wow. Here, you guys, you go up here, you go over here. If 
I can keep them alive, I will. And I think we shredded most of the fleet. No, nothing else has come up from behind us. And am I to go now? I don't That'll work. Why have I been enlisted for this task? You have promised. Report. Do we have specific Man, Osiris really was the worst. The more I hear these voice lines, the more I'm reminded of why I hate him, her, so much. Okay, yeah, shred these things. All of them. Just light them up. They tried to sneak attack us. It didn't work out super well. I mean, they did sneak attack us. They just didn't get very far. There we go. Stealth attacks. Are those what he's building? No, it's heads. more fearsome than the dreaded attack. So it can't be just more Hatox that he's building here. Although a stealth attack is kind of frightening, honestly. Okay, they've got enough shields that they shouldn't instantly die if they're discovered out there. It's the nice thing about lower tier ships, is they don't have a shield generator. <laughs> Okay, so we'll come down here. I think that's it for the enemy fleet, but, you know, I thought that before. Yeah, the occasional fighters will come through, we'll handle them. Oh. Where's that other frigate? I lost track of Oh. Holy smokes. How many of these things are there? Oh, they're stealthing. I don't like that. There's no way they're getting produced mid-combat, right? And am I to go with The rest of these things are. Damn no way. Don't let either of them get away. Funny how they get damaged to the point where they just give up and stand there. Oh, they're giving up. They're not even going to make us take out the shipyard. That works for me. Take whatever you have left and run if they have anything left. Sweet. Our campaign against the System Lord begins now. If you handle this correctly, they will have no chance to recover. Yeah, we're handling it correctly about that. Okay. So we're going to hit Delmok. My forces are built up, let's be honest. Now that we've hit them, I can expect attacks all over the place, probably. Tartarus is pretty well reinforced. It could be better, but it's, it's pretty well reinforced. And worst case scenario, we just redirect our fleet. Um, we can wipe out Vorash, of course. Once we hit this one, we're going to take that, probably take this and that, and whatever else is nearby. Just going to crunch the system lords completely. I'm less afraid of Earth because they have a, a far less established power system. So I might take this planet just so that they don't 
get too many ideas, but without Erebus, they, they can't produce a ton. Like, you need pr particular places to make good money. This is one of them. Erebus is one of them. I think P3X254 is, and like, this one over here, P5S117, they probably have that. That one you can make decent money at. But there aren't that many that produce much. Uh, and we produce a lot. So we're going to just take whatever we can. I'm not going to fight with Talana yet. But I will take Vorash to just clear that out. And we'll take out these two and anything else that's nearby. I think if we just keep on just pushing constantly, we'll keep them on the run. We have dealt with Harrower, Apophis, and Ball. I know that Kronos and Bastet are both in this game. At least they were Azeroth, so I'm assuming they are here. So they're going to have fleets somewhere. Kronos' fleet was here at Dendar or Dendera, and I think Bastet's was combined with his for some reason. So I can probably expect both of them. And I never met Lord Yu personally in that game, because he was conflicted with Anubis personally, and then, and then he was out. But his capital is Henan, so we might have to fight him as well. There are a couple major strongholds, but taking Delmok, this is one of the biggest... Oh yeah, and Sokar's out there. But if we take this, really take it, like on the planet, that's a major win that takes away one of their biggest planets. Uh, and then we just kind of keep that momentum going. Um, Alright, well that's going to be it for this one. Please check the link in the description for my book. If you like the look of it, give it a read. If you like the read, give it a positive review. Uh, otherwise, thank you all for watching. I will see you in the next one.